CLA, it's your boy Reed Your Mind, and guess what? It's Christmas in July. That's right, I did actually find a local hobby store and I went there and I bought a bunch of stuff. So let me show you what I got. I'm really excited. So, first, I got this, which is the cool um, you know, roll cage for the slash. It's really heavy though, so when I was feeling it, I was like, ah, I don't know if I'll use it for racing, but definitely for bashing it might be fun. But then I thought, oh, well, maybe I need some better shocks, so I went ahead and I got some Proline, sort of the bad boy shocks, because I bought like the the Traxxas upgraded shocks, and they just they weren't strong enough. And these ones are really good, so I got these. I got the front and the rear of those. And then I went ahead, because I have tons of different batteries and whatnot, and I have different kinds of chargers, I just got a couple adapters so that that way I can be more efficient with my um, power management. And then another thing I got was because this is the original body that I painted from the Platinum Edition. You can see um, I did a pretty good job with the purple, black, and silver, but after a couple days at the track, it's starting to really, starting to really crack and, and all that stuff, so I thought I'd get a new body. So I got the... Proline, was it the Proline Tundra clear body? I think that looks like a pretty badass little little setup, and it'll be really fun to paint that and get that on the truck. So I'm gonna try to do that. That way, when I go racing with my new hopped-up Traxxas, then I'll be able to look the part. And then I've been considering going to Lipo for quite some time now, and I probably spent a good month and a half researching all the options. I went with the Onyx uh, 245 AC-DC dual balancing charger. That way I can have two batteries going at the same time and I can do the nickel metal hydride and I can do the lipos because I have both and it comes with a bunch of different connectors and whatnot. So, but what I did do is after doing a lot of research on what to race with, I decided to go with um, the Onyx lithium, uh, the lipo 57 ma 7.4 25C 2S LiPo because when you're at the track I don't think you need that crazy power I don't know some of you might have watched the old video I did over at Nitro Chris's where we literally made the, the slash go so fast it was almost uncontrollable so I want to maintain that control on the course and I want to be able to adjust the power level so I went with the 5700 milliamp 7.4 25C 2S and I got two of those so that that way I can have a lot of fun and then always safety first, so I wanted to make sure that since I have a new baby, I don't want to like explode my house or anything, so I went ahead and I got the safe charge pack, and I think I can fit both of those lipos in there when I'm charging them, so I think that'll be just fine. It's worth the extra money to, to go ahead and be safe. Yeah, really excited. Love the Slash. If you don't already have a Slash, you should get one. I know everyone's going to go, no, you should do Team Associated, or ah, but I just, I love the bash. And I like to take it to the track once in a while. I'm not a professional, so I went with the, the Slash, and I really like it. So we're going to get started and put this thing together, so let's get started. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, so I've got my Slash here. I'm not quite ready to get going with the Onyx batteries yet because... I really want to read the instructions really carefully to figure out, you know, what the charge and discharge rate and rules and regulations are. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute. So I think the first thing I want to get started on is I really like these these Proline shocks. I mean, they just look like real truck shocks. I mean, they're bad ass. These ones that I got from Proline are just so cheesy. They even have the little plastic spacers. Like, what? Uh, one other thing that I got that was pretty cool is I see these around every once in a while and I thought I'd give it a try. It's like the pin holders because uh, if you're like me, I go through pins. I swear they're like a, a basic commodity, man. Those things like if I was ever to get into the RC hobby, I would manufacture pins, okay? Because anyways, millions of dollars in pins. I'm going to get started on uh, upgrading these shocks. Uh, so here we go.
Proline shocks. Now filled with oil. I think they feel pretty good. Gonna double check them so there's no weird noises. That's definitely a lot stronger than the ones that were on there before. Alright. Can't wait to get those bad boys on there. Heck yes. Oh, heck yes. That looks a lot better. I think that's going to do just fine. Fully adjustable, big bore, pro-line shocks on the rear and on the front. I think that's going to probably increase the performance, but we will see. All right, what's next? Well, I had to take five minutes from my build because the Traxxas Torque Series is on, and I absolutely love this off-road racing. In fact, this is one of the reasons why I decided to get a Traxxas Slash in the first place, because it looks so much like these trucks that are racing here, and with the short course racing, it's just your mind goes into another place, and your suspension of disbelief happens, and you really feel like you're driving these off-road trucks. So, give me five minutes, I'll be right back at it. Okay, I am back from uh, watching the Traxxas off-road, and yeah, watching those trucks is just really fun. I can't wait to go out to one of those events. But I think I'm on to this part right here. Uh, there's also that, um, that single crossbar that goes for this to help make the, the chassis stronger, but the guy who manufactures this also manufactures that, and I talked to him about it, and he says, well, if you put this on, you're not going to need that because this works to the same effect. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. See how this ends up looking. I think it'll end up looking pretty badass. I mean, I can't imagine it's going to keep the low CG effect. I think it's going to add a lot of top, uh, top heaviness to the rig. Um, so one of the things that I really did like about the, the Slash was that typically when you crash it, it always rights itself. I have a feeling that if you crash and roll this over, it's going to end up turtled uh, because it's so heavy on the top. So we'll see about that, but that's, that's what I'm thinking. I certainly think that, you know, it's nice to protect these investments. I mean... You look at the Proline shocks alone that I just put on here, they were 50 bucks a set. So that was a $100 upgrade to this truck. In fact, when I went today to get all the, the, the toys that I wanted to upgrade and, the, and between the LiPo batteries, I could have bought an entirely new RC, which is so hard to justify. You're like, uh, I could get a LiPo system or I could just keep the batteries I have and buy a whole new RC. <laughs> But I think everybody who I've talked to, including Hemi Storm and DJ Medic and all those people, they're like, once you go LiPo, you'll never go back because the power is instantaneous and it's steady and it's long lasting and it's just better. Look at that. That looks pretty ill. That looks pretty cool. Boy, that's sturdy. Yeah, so there it is. That looks pretty sick. Now those Proline shocks on there. Alright, what is next? Let's put this thing back together and see, see how it looks. What do we got? We got some wheels. Get those bad boys on there. I'm actually curious to know if this, uh, this roll cage will actually fit. Um, if, if it'll actually fit, like, fit with the body on. for you. Alright, well I guess next is just to test out to see if the shocks have enough strength to support the new weight and get to bashing. Oh my god, check this out. I didn't even see this, but nobody's there right now. It's totally fenced off because we're in Los Angeles and they don't allow anybody to do anything fun. But I'm going to see if I can jump in there and see if I can get a few runs off. Shh, come on.
this video. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'm loving the feedback I'm getting from everybody. I really appreciate the whole community support. I love it when you guys comment because I'm always there right when I launch a video. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit the comment section. Definitely subscribe if you can. And um, I will see you next time when I finally figure out how to run these lipos and get this thing crazy fast. Anyways, it's Read Your Mind, signing off from Urban RCLA. Peace.